sorry. You gotta forgot. I'd like to introduce the Chief Creative Officer of Blizzard Entertainment, Rob Pardo. What up, BlizzCon? <laughs> Dear Lord, there are a lot of people here. I, I think way off in the distance, it actually starts to fog out like a video game. <laughs> well, I'm up here today to talk to you guys about a little game called Hearthstone. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, actually Hearthstone was kind of a stealth project at Blizzard. You know, for a lot of its development, it was kind of very quiet and it was experimental. We wanted to see if we could take a small team and kind of go back to the old days of Blizzard and still create an epic Blizzard game, but with a small team. And um, there was actually a lot of skepticism, you know, especially with the genre that we chose to do, because a lot of people, even at Blizzard, were like, card battling games? Those are pretty nerdy and geeky. Is that really going to, you know, appeal to a big, broad audience? <laughs> So, so what happened? <laughs> so we had this uh, fun moment at Blizzard, actually, which happened in uh, last year. I think it was in uh, September last year. And what happened was um, we did our in-company alpha. And this is something we do for a lot of our products. And we, we asked the whole company, hey, play the build. And what we usually have to do is we have to like, let people do that on the clock because otherwise they'd rather do other work. The games usually aren't quite that much fun yet in alpha. But what we found was uh, we had this playing for three weeks, and during that time period, people are staying late, you know, after hours, trying to play the game more, and during that three-week time period, we had over 5,000 hours played. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's actually when we knew we had a really special game and we had a true Blizzard game. And we were super excited this year when, um, you know, we announced it at PAX, and obviously we got it out to beta, to I'm sure a lot of people here are playing, and... Uh, and <laughs> And the response has just been amazing. You know, watching the streams, watching the players, getting the feedback. I mean, it's really been super gratifying. And um, Hearthstone represents several firsts for Blizzard, too. You know, along with being experimental, it's our first free-to-play game. It's our first tablet game. And also, it um, happens to be the first game in a really long time that we announced and got out to the public in the same year. <laughs> So, um, all right, so how many of you guys are actually playing Hearthstone now? How many of you are not in the beta yet? Wow, less than I thought. Um, but good news, all of you that are not in the beta yet, we are going into open beta next month. But in Blizzard speak, that might mean January. Just warning you now. So here at uh, BlizzCon, we have Hearthstone all over the place. So we have stations where you can play the game on PC, and also if you go to the Intel booth, we have the game on tablet, which you really should uh, go and check out. We also are having a Hearthstone exhibition tournament that uh, includes some popular community personalities like Day9 and Husky and Kriparian. So uh, make sure to check it out tomorrow morning at the tournament stage in Hall B. All right. So I have more good news for all the people here that are Hearthstone fans that are attending BlizzCon. And this is both for people that are here in person and on the virtual ticket. So we have a special card that only attendees are going to receive. So the team had to think for a long time. They really wanted to come up with a special card that really said BlizzCon. So I think they came up with a really great one. So I want to show you guys the Elite Torin Chieftain. So I'll show you guys more in a second, but I want to explain a little bit of like how he plays. You know, the Elite Torrent Chief, and when you drop him onto the board, you know, he really announces his authority like a rock star. And uh, what will happen is he'll, he has three different uh, power cord cards that are all kind of, that are different and custom, have different effects, and he'll deal one to each player. So it's kind of this, this fun sort of random card, you know, really definitely says BlizzCon. And um, all the BlizzCon attendees are getting the golden version of the card, which you can kind of see behind me. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what he actually looks like in gameplay, too, because the, the team, they'll, 
they keep on doing more and more golden cards and cool animations, special effects, and every one just seems to be better than the last one that they've done. So I'll show you guys what this one looks like. So if you guys have been playing the beta, you've probably seen a lot of golden cards. You know, we've been adding to them the beta as soon as we can make them, and you know, it's really our intention to have all the cards have a golden version. You know, it's a really fun collectible element. It's really fun getting the cool special effects. But I'm sure, you know, probably um, it may have occurred to a lot of you that if we have all these golden cards, you know, why aren't we doing golden versions of the heroes themselves? So I'm here to tell you guys today that that's exactly what we're working on. We're working on versions of the golden heroes. So the way that um, the golden heroes are going to work is you're going to actually earn them in the, the new ranked play mode. And I'll show you uh, kind of an early version of what their animations are going to look like. So you can see they're going to be fully animated just like the golden cards themselves. And what will happen is um, in the new ranked play mode that we're creating right now, we, uh, you'll be able to earn those. And you'll be able to unlock each class one at a time. So with the, uh, the ranked play mode, you know, we know that a lot of you have really loved the arena mode. And our goal has really been to make a ranked play mode that's just as much fun as arena mode and really makes constructed play really rewarding. So make sure that um, you come to this hall at 2.15 today and see the design team because they're going to talk a lot more rank, ranked play mode, golden heroes, and all the other stuff that's coming out in Hearthstone. But, um, oh yeah, I have actually one more piece of Hearthstone news though. A lot of you guys, um, I know, have maybe heard about the tablet version but haven't got to see it yet. So at uh, Blizzard, you know, a lot of us actually prefer to play it on tablet. You know, and uh, unfortunately, there's just no easy way to put that out in a beta test. But you know, once you play the tablet version, you know, you can play on the couch. You know, a lot of people at Blizzard that that's what they like to do. But I also know that not everyone actually has tablets. So we we want to announce another platform that we're actually working on, which is the iPhone version. <laughs> What? What? So both the iPhone and the Android version are being are in development right now at Blizzard. It's still really early on, but we're hoping to have them out probably in the second half of next year. So, Hearthstone isn't the only news that's going on in the Warcraft universe. You know, can you guys actually believe we're going to have a Warcraft movie? <laughs> Honestly, I, I can't believe it. We, we started this thing back in 2006, and that's a long product development schedule even for us. So like Mike mentioned, we're super excited to have the director of the movie out here at BlizzCon, Duncan Jones. So he's going to be here tomorrow. And uh, we also are going to have uh, Bill Westenhofer on the panel also. He's the special effects supervisor. And he, um, you know, he's actually an Oscar award-winning special effects supervisor who did Life of Pi and Golden Compass. And more importantly, he's played World of Warcraft all the way from the beginning and has a level 90 character. So, but when, you know, when I really look at um, Hearthstone and I think about like the Warcraft movie, you know, it's like just how far we've all come together in this franchise and, you know, all in front of you guys. And it's, um, it's really humbling. You know, I, I, it's hard to believe it, but this month is going to be World of Warcraft's ninth birthday. You know, personally, I've actually been, um, I've been working on or playing World of Warcraft most of my adult life. You know, and it, it kind of makes me think back to how I got my, my start. You know, for uh, I think a lot of game designers around my age, my generation, we, um, we got our start in a very similar sort of way. You know, we would uh, have our first game design experience actually playing Dungeons and Dragons. 
And you know, as a, as a dungeon master, you know, I really learned early on that it's, it's not just about creating experiences for your players, it's really about taking that journey with them and really having you know, that entertainment experience as a partnership that you really take on together. So I just thought, you know, thinking about those old days and just thinking about World of Warcraft the same way, maybe we could look back on some of the journeys that we've all taken together. So does uh, anyone here know what the first battleground was in World of Warcraft? Well, the thing was, it wasn't actually designed as a battleground. It was in the Hills Brad Foothills. You know, the epic battles between South Shore and Terran Mill. And, you know, I remember back in those days when I was a orc shaman and all I wanted to do was get to my flight master. And just seeing him dead and realize, Alliance scum again. So, you know, another thing that I, I think really brings back a lot of memories is maybe our first raid together against the Black Dragon and Nixia. And back then, you know, it's, um, you raided with 40 players, 40 of your closest friends and guildies. You know, it was kind of a mess. And probably the worst thing you would hear in guild chat is more whelps. Or what about, do you guys remember the first time that you could actually go through the dark portal? You know, and we really wanted to make that this epic, epic, majestic experience. And for us to be able to go through that together, and it was also the first time that we had flying mounts. I think maybe we should have thought a little more carefully about the ramifications in PvP, where we inter introduced the whole concept of a swooping gank. Sorry about that. All right, so I have another question for you guys. How many of you were there the day on your realm when the gates of Encourage opened? <laughs> you know, I, this is like the most epic world event in World of Warcraft history. The only problem was, as game designers, um, it didn't really occur to us it might not be the right idea to have everyone on a realm go to the exact same place at the same time. <laughs> and I just want to apologize in front of all of you got all of you to our server engineers for not consulting with them first. <laughs> all right, but um, you know, last but not least, I, I think uh, another kind of fun event to talk about was I think the, the first pandemic in virtual world history when we introduced Zul Guru. Who could forget the Corrupted Blood debuff and trying to go into Ironforge and everything was desolate? I think this might be the only MMO event that has its own Wikipedia entry. But that's the thing though, um, as developers, like even when we mess up, you know, we're able to kind of create these memories that as a community we share together. You know, and that's one of the things that I, I love about BlizzCon itself, is that it creates these shared memories, because all of you remember all these memories for yourselves with your guild on your realm, but when you come to BlizzCon, you can talk about how it happened on your server or on your server. And it's something, and, and we share these experiences just like back in the day with, with Dungeons and & Dragons. And that's like one of my favorite things about BlizzCon, is really getting to meet people that are in the community and players and really be a player like you guys and be able to talk about these events and share these events. But um, I actually think my absolute favorite part of BlizzCon is watching all these players within the community that have all these virtual relationships and guilds and friendships, but when you come to BlizzCon, you get to sometimes meet each other for the first time and create lifelong friendships. And I think that's one of the things that's really special about BlizzCon. So on behalf of everyone at Blizzard, I want to thank all of you for letting us be your dungeon master all these years.
But I don't want you to think that the journey's over yet. So to welcome, I want to welcome to the stage my creative partner for many, many years to introduce to you the next chapter in World of Warcraft. So please give a huge ovation for Chris Metzen.